What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new 2-in-1 AEW action figure review on the AEW Unmatched Collection Series number 6, Ruby Soho and Malachi Black figures. Now, if you'd like to grab these figures, they are up for order right now on ringsidecollectibles.com, wrestlingfigures.com, whichever one you want to use there, but use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Both of these figures are looking pretty damn good. I'm, I am excited about it. You know, we, we had a huge hiatus of the AEW action figures, and finally we have a new series here, and I'm excited for it. I've been waiting on this set for a long time now. We have a lot of kind of outdated figures in this set. You know, I don't know how well some of these are going to move. However, we are back with brand new AEW action figures, and that's always good for me, man. So as we get into it here, you guys will see. We do have Ru Ruby Soho here. Got the tongue out head sculpt. Got the interchangeable head here. Got the blue and silver looking very clean. And I don't want to be over dramatic or crazy, but it seems to me like these figures have a different box. Like the boxes seem, like they look identical mostly, but uh, something seems like the colors or something are a little bit more crispy maybe than what we've seen from the past few sets. And maybe that's the new company making the figures or like maybe they changed production factories or maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Maybe I don't, but nonetheless, there's Malachi Black looking good there. I really like the box art right here, but there is Ruby Soho and Malachi Black, man. And what we're going to do first is crack these guys out of the packaging, take a look at them on the rotating base, and then we'll get into their accessories and crack them out of the packaging and find out what these figures are all about. But these are two figures that I've been waiting on, so I'm excited to get them out, and uh, let's just shut the hell up and crack them out of their packaging. Uh so here's Malachi Black and Ruby Soho out of their packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far. I do have my gripes about the figures, which is kind of just an ongoing thing with the AEW figures and where I feel about them and how, they, how they're how they treated and how they're made and all those different things, which we're going to get into in the video. You know, we're going to break it all down. However, let's get into Ruby Soho's accessories first, and then we will break down Ruby Soho, and then we'll get into Malachi Black's accessories and the Malachi Black figure itself. So let's shut the hell up and do so. So getting into Ruby Soho's accessories, you get two interchangeable heads sculpts and three interchangeable hands individually so you get a two pairs of hands or one pair of hands that looks identical and then just one interchangeable hand to go along with that now for this head sculpt i actually like this head sculpt i think you know she's a pretty recognized she has a recognizable look you look at ruby soho she has her own unique look to her i think that you know you i, I like the nose ring there lipstick is dark you got the red hair or the orange hair coming through you even have like the black tones underneath and the gauges in there so i mean they did a really good job on this and i think the likeness is there i, th I think they did a really good job job there. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, her eyebrow is painted over the hair sculpt right there. And I guess you don't really notice it, but at the same time, now I'm noticing it and I can't unnotice it. So that's hilarious. You guys can see that right there, the eyebrow, the hair, I guess the haircut, like the bang should have been a little bit shorter. And now her eyebrow is painted over her hair. That is crazy. Wow. I just now noticed that. Then if you look at this head sculpt, same thing, but it's not as noticeable. The screaming head sculpt does look good though. I like this head sculpt better. I just like the expressive head sculpt better and I know it's weird but I guess because we have two interchangeable ones I like that you get the choice there you have your straight face you have your yelling face you both have nice hair sculpt there the red looks good or the orange and good saturation overall I like these head sculpts I think they look good but I like the screaming expression better and the likeness is pretty damn good and then on her like relaxed grippy style hands or slapping grabbing I don't even know but you got her tattoo detail on her hands and then you know that she does have like her black and orange fingernail paint and then she has like her wrist tape or whatever gauntlet things over this hand Hand. And these don't look bad or anything like that, but I do wish we got two styles of this hand, which is going to be the Devil Horns or the Rock and Roll style hands or whatever you want. Pretty sure we got these with Thunder Rosa, but the tattoo detail does look good in there. And it even continues over the peg, which is a good, nice little detail. But even got the finger tats in there. Like, it's just, it's solid. I just wish we got more with this figure. All right, man, so getting into Ruby Soho, starting out with the top of the head sculpt. We already looked at it, but I love the proportion to the neck to the head. I think it looks really good there. Tons and tons of tattoo detail going on on this figure. I like the sculpt of the upper with the, you know, you got like some like camo slash cheetah print going through there. All of her tattoos look really, really good and you know I have tattoos so I, I'm all for somebody being tatted up. I think it looks badass. I think, you know, I'm all for tattoos and more tattoos and more tattoos so, you know, I'm trying to get tatted up like her now, you know what I mean? I mean, I have two almost full sleeves now but I'm trying to get the chest piece. I want the leg sleeve, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm all for that. 
This is my biggest gripe with the figure, man. Like, look at this right here. That little, you, you can see how loose it is. It's loose. You got the wrist gauntlet there on the wrist. You got all of her tattoos, bicep bands. This is probably her tattoo that stands out the most to me for some reason. This Kraken or this jellyfish style. I think it's a Kraken or an octopus right here. This is the one that always stands out on TV to me. But it looks really good. You have her belt buckle. I love that the belt's painted. You got the chain coming off. Great looking tattoo detail. I mean, she's very toyetic, man. Ruby Soho over here. Cheetah print again. The runaway on the butt. You got this moth tattoo on the back. Very badass, man. Very badass. I love the coloration. I love the just everything about it, man. It's just a very toyetic figure. You even get the lower shin cut, which is always a blessing. And then she's got her sneakers on here, which I don't know what sneakers these are, but they do have like this stud kind of feel to them. And you guys can see there, it's got like, uh, it's, a, it's a textured look there. And then she's got all of her tattoos around her leg. It's very, very cool. Just a badass piece. Now for your Ruby Soho figure, you get some pretty good articulation in here with the neck. You know, she's got the upper diaphragm there. The lower doesn't really articulate that great, but her shoulders go above 90. You get the full bicep swivel. You get the double jointed elbow that is very, very tight and nice. You can literally grab her own neck, which is nice. It's just that bicep swivel gets really loose. And look at that. Her arm snapped in half, looks like. You get the rotation at the top. You do get the split seats. You get the upper thigh cut. You do get a double jointed knee. And you get shin cut, but you do not get foot rotation. However, her ankles go up and down. And she has pivots. So, I mean, that's, I mean, what do you, what do you want here, man? Very poseable. Just don't know how long she's going to hold up if you're just sitting there posing her around 24-7. But I still think this is probably the best iteration of Ruby Soho, Ruby Riot, you know, things like that that we've ever seen. So that's always a blessing to see. But for your Ruby Riot, Ruby Soho figure comparisons, man, you guys can see here this Ruby Soho towers over the previous Ruby Riot and uh, it makes this figure just kind of look wonky, I think. Like, I, I just think that the this one right here is so much better in my opinion. It just It's just better. It just is, man. I think this would look sick on there though. I think I'm going to put this vest onto the uh, this one right here, at least for the thumbnail. I gotta do that. Right, you know what? I'll, I'll do it for you guys as well. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Now, it does say Ruby Riot on it, but I don't think it's a huge deal, you know. Let's just stick this on here. Let's see what we got. Now, once you get it on there, it looks freaking magnificent. Oh my god, but that was definitely challenging, and I don't know if I'd recommend it. Like, my arms are probably super loose now, but that look very sick, especially when you pair it with the gear here. Very good decision. I'm glad I put this on here now. Wow, that looks, that looks bad, eh? Yep. Definitely leaving her like this, so I enjoy this. And then for some more Ruby or Soho figure comparisons, guys, here is the Unrivaled 10 Britt Baker. You have a Paige figure, you have the Ruby Soho, and then you have the Elite 85 Liv Morgan with a head swap, and you know, just to give you a kind of a comparison if you want to pair these with different figures. For the Riot Squad, I don't have Sarah Logan, I don't think I don't think I ever got that figure, so I do apologize for that, but here's some more comparisons if you guys want to eyeball that and see what you think. I think she fits in well here, but compared to the other Ruby Riot, my god, she, she like towers over, but the rest of these she, I think she fits in pretty decent. So getting into Malachi Black's accessories, not only do you get two interchangeable heads and two pairs of interchangeable hands, you also get this big AF ugly rubber thing. No, seriously though, it is a rubber or vinyl version of the same thing we got with the Supreme collection figure. And obviously the Supreme's better. It's Supreme. This is the unmatched line, so it is rubber. But it does have a lot of cool details and sculpts in it. It's the same, you know, thing. Like with the Supreme, this was like a vest and they had the cloth overthrow. And then it has this mask in here and it pegs into the corner right there so once you put the head sculpt on you can like peg it to make the mask fit and that's not my favorite feature you know anything rubber or anything like that like it doesn't bother me too much but when you throw the hood on there and it's long like that it does hinder articulation but it's not as bad as a big ass jacket or something like that that could hinder articulation so it's not the worst thing ever but I think I'd rather have a Malachi black t-shirt or something but I guess because you have like it's his entrance gear with the mask and you know you're trying to complete that look so I get it you know I just would prefer cloth obviously but it's not a horrific accessory. I'm just not going to use it probably. So you guys can see the sculpts and stuff. Like, it looks good. It looks good and detailed and everything. I just don't give a goofy god dang. Now back to the head sculpts. Here's our first Malachi Black one and it's kind of just a serious face. You do have the face paint in there and the contact and you got the reddish beard going on. Got his tattoos on there and it is like a short head sculpt or hair sculpt. And it's not the worst head sculpt of all time. I like it. I think it gets the job done. I don't know if this is the same head sculpt we saw on his Supreme Collection figure. I have them all in a bag. I guess I can bring those out and look really quick. So here is the Supreme on the left and the Unmatched on the right, and they are slightly different. You know, I think this one's actually better, the new Unmatched. It looks like the beard is thicker on the Supreme as well. So these are actually two completely different head sculpts, and I think that the Unmatched is a little bit better. Even the skin tone's a little bit better. It's not as muted. This actually has a better, like, healthier looking skin tone. This is more like a grayish style, and that gives me ideas for fix-up. But yeah, they actually are different, so that's 
that's kind of crazy. Like, and it looks shrunken down a little bit. It looks like it's more in scale. And then for your masked buck antler skull mask head sculpt, you do have the black danglies coming down there. And this is very similar to the other one we saw with the Supreme Collection. But if we do a comparison shot here, you guys can see again that they are slightly different. Like this, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends. This looks maybe a little bit more realistic with its tones. But this one isn't bad either. And it looks like this one's shrunk down just a little bit as well. So they are a little bit different. Eyes are painted a little bit different, but they're not massively different. But, I mean, you, they, they are different, though. So, I mean, you gotta give them credit there. But I do like that you get the interchangeable head sculpts. That's nice. Then outside of that, you do get your mic holding or weapon holding style Malachi black hands. And then you get your interchangeable fisted hands with the same tattoo deco, which always looks good. Dude, I remember it's so cool because Alistair slash Malachi black is one of those guys that we waited to get figures of for years and, like, we were so hyped to get one. And then when we finally got it, man, it's just been unbelievable to look at all his action figures. He's such a toyetic, badass assassin. And then getting into Malachi black Black, and also I think my neighbor just started mowing his lawn, so I do apologize for that if you hear that, but you guys can see the head sculpt here on the body. All the tattoo work, just like Ruby Soho, man, it looks good. One of my only gripes about the Malachi Black figures and just AEW figures in general is the cutoff on the tattoos. I know this happened, this is happening on the new Brody King we're getting, but on the back as well, the, the tattoo doesn't continue, and we also see that like on the bicep swivel and stuff like that. It's not as bad on this bicep swivel, but on this one right here, you guys can see there, like, look at the gappage. Like, that always bothers me. I, I don't know. It just really, like, kind of breaks the illusion. But head sculpt looks good on here. All the tattoo decals and deco looks pretty good. You know, I feel like they could increase or just... I don't I don't know how they could fit it on the arms better. Maybe it's because the arms are too big or something. But it just seems like he's got a lot of gappage in his tattoos compared to what it's like in real life. But the back shot of the demon here on the back looks really good. Doesn't line up perfectly. But, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I think it still looks good. You have, like the koi fish on the side here which looks good all the tattoos look good i think they did a really good job of replicating that it's got his black gauntlets over here they're not sculpted on though wait yes they no they're not they're not sculpted on on the sides there he's got plain black trunks which i found interesting but i guess it is accurate they don't have any designs or anything and then you have all of his thigh tattoos here all the different ones you know i don't know all of his tattoos but it all looks accurate to me he's got like the carbon fiber going on on his knee pads and his kick pads so that's nice to see you know you got the nice stuff going on their rotation it does not have ultimate boots or you know supreme boots on there but i like the malachi black i do like the figure feels good in hand as far as articulation you know you can look down a little bit he's got a beard on there and a ponytail so it's hard to do but his ab crunch is pretty solid there you do get the diaphragm right there which is pretty tight you got the shoulders up here you got the bicep you got double jointed arms in here which is great arms do feel a little bit loose there which is annoying but got the splits he's upper thigh cut double jointed knee he also has the ankles that go up and down. He's got the boot rotation. He's got the pivot, of course, ankle pivot. And I don't know, man. I really enjoy the figure. I love Malachi Black. But let's get into some comparisons here with the rest of some Malachi Black. And for our first comparison, here's the Supreme up next to the Unmatched. And I do have, yeah, I got the shorts on here. So, you know, it's not a huge dip off there. But it seems like the Unmatched may be a little bit taller. But it could be because of that Supreme. So, you know, it's got the butterfly joints and stuff like that in there. But... I don't know, I'm afraid to take this off now because I've left this on since the beginning, so he's probably stained to all hell. But I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but these skin tones are actually different. This one has a lot more like of a healthier skin tone looking, and this one's more of like a grayish tone. So he's more like gray and lightish over here compared to this, which is more of like, you know, like a tannish or a realistic skin tone. So that's something worth noting. They're definitely not the same skin tone. And this has more of like a flat finish compared to like the, the shiny material over here. That's what I'm saying i feel like these are made in different factories sometimes i swear and then you have the supreme the unmatched and the elite 73 alistair black all up next to each other and i did do a fix up on this guy he would be much smaller but i did like double kick pad height so he'd be a little bit taller there because it always bothered me how small mattel made him but uh aew and jazzwares has made him even bigger than that so i don't know you know you can do with that what you will uh if, i guess you could compare it like i guess what's a good comparison you can get Brody lee in here and compare him to Brody lee so this is what the elite Brody Lee would look like up next to him, and then you have the, you know, the unmatched style Brody Lee, which is probably more accurate, or maybe they made Brody Lee too big as well, I don't know, man, they just, the scaling issues are some of my biggest problems with AEW figures, and I love the line, it's just, you know, you gotta have the scaling right, because the scaling is what makes these matches and the photo photography and, you know, all the, the toy photography and all these things make sense, it makes it, you know, work, and it makes it, you know, bring the illusion to life, but anyways... 
Here's what the Wyatt Colt would look like in its entirety with the unmatched Malachi Black in here. If I wanted to throw that in there, I guess you could get away with it. It's just his damn torso is so massive. These chests and these stomachs, like, I think that's kind of what throws off the scaling. But here he is, you know, I think this one fits in better with the, with the Colt there. But I guess it's not the biggest deal ever. It's just something I gotta talk about. Well, I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 AEW Unmatched Series 6 review on Ruby Soho and Malachi Black, man. I like the figures overall. I love all the tattoo deco. I like the way the figures feel in hand overall. I just hate how loose the damn arms get, man. I find this happening a lot with certain figures, and it seems to be an unmatched collection problem. That's where I see it the most, actually, is in the Unmatched Collection compared to the Unrivaled. And I do believe they're like, they're, there's no real difference in the figures, I, you know, besides the packaging and things like that. I don't think they're made in factories. Like, I don't think there's two different factories producing the figures or anything. But it's like the bicep swivel and the shoulders get super loose. And it really puts you off, man. Like, I can't stand trying to pose around a figure and immediately out of the packaging, the arm gets in, un, just unbearably loose and things like that. Cannot stand it. It's one of my biggest figure pet peeves of all time. And I love the look of these figures. I think they look great. I think that, you know, I, like I'm a huge Malachi and Ruby Soho fan. I love both these characters. Scaling is still kind of an issue. I guess it's not the biggest deal ever across the board. Like, you know, when you integrate it into different figures and stuff like that, I guess it's not like a huge deal breaker. And I like a lot of the things going on with these figures. I'm just so annoyed by the loose joints, man. That really just puts a damper on, on collecting for me. However, man, at the end of the day, I think if you already have the Supreme Malachi Black, I would probably just pass on this one. I think the Series 8 figure coming out with the suit, now that's where I'm, I'm, I'm excited for that figure. I really like this Ruby Soho. I think it is the best version of Ruby Soho or Ruby Riot that we've ever seen. It's definitely better than her Elite and her basics that we've seen in the past. But just be cautious about the loose joints, man. I don't really know what the fix is for that, but that is pretty much going to wrap up my review, man. If you guys enjoy these figures, you do want to grab them immediately. Go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Also, a huge shout-out to our patrons over here. Big shout-out to Figure Collector 123 for signing up to our Patreon yesterday. Huge shout-out to you, man. Appreciate you so much. Big shout-out to our patrons, man. If you guys are interested, link in the description below, as well as our merch link, ProWrestlingTees.com. I was going to say order a shirt if you're going to Mania, so I could see you at Mania with the shirt, but probably wouldn't make it in time if you order it by now. Also, the WrestleMania Access Store or the Superstore is opening on Thursday at 12 p.m., and my flight lands in L.A. on on Thursday at 11 a.m. So I'm literally leaving the airport, going to where I'm staying, putting my bags up, and immediately going to the Superstore. So if you guys are going to the Superstore on Thursday, I should be there. Don't know how long I'll be there. You know, I'm going to be doing figure coverage and news and things of that nature to get my videos up and talk about it with you guys and explore everything. And I am so much looking forward to the trip. But if you guys are going to be there, definitely speak. I can't wait to get out there and meet you guys and talk and all those different things, man. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the review. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. See you in the next one. I always do that. We'll never back down.